is a midlife pop culture show for those of us who were born a few years ago. Let's show those millennials all the things we know. Being old makes us wise. Sometimes we even go outside. We know about life before 1999. You haven't seen nothing yet if you haven't lived life pre-internet. Listen up, this is stuff you won't want to forget. Midlife pop culture show. The greatest generation. Mm, the baby boomers. The millennials. The Y generation. The Z generation. We all get together here on the Midlife Pop Culture Show. And we're going to celebrate just being happy and loving food. And I believe this is what they told me. Season 3, Episode 1. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun. First thing I did is on the way in is I stopped at Burger King. And I got myself an Impossible Whopper and a regular Whopper. Um, can you tell the truth? Are they being biased on the uh, on the TV where they can uh, they say it's just as good as you can tell? Okay, well, uh, my man Kyle, my producer, Kyle, are you there? Hello, Mr. G. I gave Kyle two pieces as well, and I numbered them. Okay, let's take a look at what I got here. This is number one. Now, I'm not going to tell you at home. Let's take a look underneath here. Let's, let's turn it over uh, and take a look at the patty. Okay, this is number one. Okay. Now, number one looks right now. Kyle, how does your patty look? Your it's patty? about the same as yours. Um, I, I don't see any red, but you really don't see. Inside it, it looks sort of like, like hamburger. Can you get a real close, close on that? Look at that, okay. And to be, to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed of how much lettuce, or I actually got some lettuce today and some pickles. Wow, that's a big surprise. That's a big surprise as well. Um, usually I've griped and moaned and groaned about, boy, you can't spare the, uh, can't spare a little lettuce. But look at that, that's, that's, that's a good amount of lettuce. So we're going to put that on top. There's that patty that Kyle showed us. And um, hopefully without making too much of a mess, I think I'll take this pickle off. So me and Kyle are going to just try to figure out which one is which. Okay, I'm right, ready to go, Kyle. Three, Let's go. three two, one. Mmm. Mmm. You know, for... Uh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. Um... Kyle, what's your first thoughts on number one? It's nice. It's got a nice flavoring of sweetness slash the, uh, I don't know if that's the tomato or that's kind of a mixture of tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. But either way, I, I'm, I'm happy with this first bite. Yeah, um, I'm I'm sort of, I got kind of like a, a uh, charbroil flavor. Um, I know they put the Impossible Whoppers, I believe, and the regular Whoppers through the same broiler. Uh, but... If I was going to lean right now, um, I'm going with that this is a regular Whopper. What's your thoughts? I was actually going to say the exact same thing. Okay. Uh, to me, number one is the, uh, the, the regular, regular Whopper. But we really don't have, what do they call it? It's the, sci the scientific method sort of thing. What do they call that? Uh, we need like a blank or a, uh, when, you do, when you're doing an experiment. A blindfold to do a, ta a blind taste test? No, not a blind taste test, but you, ha you have to have like a norm or something or when you're doing oh, a... Yes, I what is that? What is that word? I can't remember. What? Well, hmm. Yeah. Boy. Boy. Um, I'm gonna put this aside. Um. Kyle. Yes, sir. Best show ever. Agree or disagree? This one? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely the best. The best. It's a tough wait every two weeks. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that, and boy, I, I uh, today was like you know I'm gonna we I've been talking to uh, my the uh, the people that call up and they really wanted a Whopper Impossible Whopper taste test. We're just a small sample size, but I'm not that small of a sample size. But uh, boom, and uh, so we're leaning towards that being the uh, number one, being the regular standard of excellence. It takes two hands to handle a Whopper. 
the two fisted whopper at Burger King. Burger. Is, uh, is that where you're headed, Kyle? Absolutely. It, it tastes just like uh, the whoppers that I've had in the past. Um, I don't think there was. They, actually, I shouldn't say they were pretty big size. They were, they were, that was good. Yeah, um, I, was, I was happy. It was, it, it, I, that would have taken two hands for sure. Takes two. Uh, uh, with a, a full one. Uh, do you remember the song, um, hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us, all you asses that you let us make it your way, have it your way, at Burger King, hmm? That one, I, I've heard, but I've never mastered it just as well as you have. Well, I can do it, uh, give me a, give me a genre of music, rap you say, hold the pickles, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us, all you ask is that you let us serve it your way. Serve it your way. Hmm? Absolutely need to go on tour with that. I, I could go on. No, no, no. Let's go on to number two. Let's take a look at number two, ladies and gentlemen. Number two. Okay. I'm um, looking at number two right now. Um, good amount of lettuce. Not a tremendous amount. The pickles, very, very thick. Um, very thick. And I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to turn it over. And let's take a look at the bun. And to be honest with you, Kyle, I really don't remember which ones were which. I'm glad we wrote it down. Um, okay. The patty itself. Uh, what do you think? Does it look any different than the A? It, it has a different coloring in my Okay. Here is here's number one. Okay. Number one. Number one, sorry. number one and number two. You know, this one looks a little more uniform, maybe. This one here. I don't see the flame-type strips that you get from the other one. No, no, underneath here, the strips. Oh, there is? Yep. Okay. You see the strips? I didn't see that, that way. See okay. the charbroil right there? Okay. Um, I would say they look very, very similar this one feels a little more non-uniform. This one here that I just put in my mouth. So why I'm enjoying number one still, Kyle, could you please taste number two and give me your impressions of that, please? And here it goes. Mm -hmm. Cheers to all of my fans and all the people watching. Good health. Kyle, my man, what are you thinking? It still has, in my eyes, that still veggie type. I think it's. I I think we've talked ourselves into this as the veggie one, though. I uh, know because it still has that same like kind of soft uh, burger flavoring mm -hmm. texture that uh, you do not get with a regular burger. Does it taste bad? Yeah, it's just. Uh, no, I mean, does it taste like not good? Like, is number it number one? Definitely had more of a, a, almost like a crunch in some ways. Well, this one just kind of you you slice through very easily with your teeth. Good point. Are we ready for the big reveal? I'm interested. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me get the Burger King bag that I wrote down. Me and Kyle believe. As Johnny Carson used to do, I have this in a Funkin' Wagnalls hermetically sealed envelope. That's too early for you, Kyle, to remember that, but. Number one was the regular burger. And number two was the impossible burger. One regular, two impossible. I wrote that before we came in. We've got it right, Kyle. How about that? What is that? How does that? What does that mean to you? I mean, does it mean that they're just, they do taste differently? I applaud their marketing. Mm -hmm. Let's think about it. You bought it because of that marketing. Yeah. It was an yeah. impossible burger. Mm -hmm. So I applaud that, but I feel like our taste buds are too smart for it. But like I say. You know, I'm willing to take, I'm willing to take a little less. Uh, um, I don't mind the flavor of the, of the, uh, Impossible Whopper, and now it's on the two for six menu as well. 
So that's, that's exactly a, what I was curious on was the prices. Yeah, two for six still, and they did add that on. Uh, about uh, six months ago, I did uh, talk about it a little bit, and I think that Burger King, uh, in my g mind of delusion, uh, watched the show and said, wait a minute, he's right. we got to lower those <laughs> Whoppers. Whopper price is down. I'm sure I wasn't the only person that said that. Ladies and gentlemen, they're both good. The Impossible Whopper, though, does have significantly less fat, saturated fat, and it's made from, um, it's made, it's sourced with soybean and um, a bunch of other quote-unquote non-animal um, ingredients. So, what we've learned right now, that Kyle was starving when he came in. Mr. G was hungry when he came in. There seems to be a small difference in taste. Thumbs up to Burger King. Thumbs up to Kyle. We'll be right back, and we're going to play What's in the Bag. Is a midlife to show for those of us who were born a few years ago let's show those millennials all the things we know being old makes us wise sometimes we even go outside we know about life before 1999 you haven't seen nothing yet if you haven't lived life pre-internet listen up this is stuff you won't want to forget midlife pop culture show It's time to play. Kyle, could you put up the, the bag, please? It's time to play off and the music. What's in the bag? Call in. Call in. 785. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Got four me to know and you two guess. Tell me what's in the bag? 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 That's me to know and you two guess. You win what's ever in that bag. Whoa, how about that? Okay. All right. What's in the bag? Now we're going to do a little, uh, little something different here today. We're going we're gonna to play What's in the Bag 2.0. Kyle, can you show the next slide? Slide number two, it says receipt on there. Okay. So, you need, you need at 603-785-0259, uh, you call in, and now you got to guess what's in the bag as well as the price. Ooh. Okay. Bang. First caller coming in. Tom, long-time listener. How you doing, my friend? Mr. G. This is Tom Tomlinson. Hi, Tom. Long-time listener and fan of the Midlife Pop Culture Show. Glad you can make it. Good to hear from you, Mr. G. Good to see you, too. I'm excited to play What's in oh, the here. Bag Mach 2, where you are now asking us to say what's in the bag as well as the price. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Quite a challenge for Tom Tomlinson, ah. but I believe an educated person like myself will have <laughs> no problem once again winning what's in the bag a mock two and guess the price Ooh, so here we go <clears throat> what i believe is in the bag yeah. is a combination plate mm -hmm. actually two combination plates one which i cannot believe my fault all right tom did we lose you mr Hi, Tom. Hello, Tom. Mr. G. Tom, Tom, Tom. Mr. G. Where are you? This is Tom, Tom. Beef Teriyaki's. Okay. And uh, Chicken Fingers. Uh-huh. And some, uh, I believe, uh, some bone-in chicken, which mm. you plan on trading with your lovely wife for uh -huh. her egg roll. Uh-huh. And uh, <clears throat> I believe that will be a good trade. And I think at the end of the day, <clears throat> I uh, believe they, it's the two-combination plate. Uh, and also, uh, as far as Mach 2 goes, I am, believe that this meal will be approximately $26.42. This is Tom Donaldson enjoying my, hearing myself talk. <laughs> oh, I could listen to myself all day. But Mr. G, it was a pleasure and good evening. This is Tom Donaldson signing off. Well... Thank you, Tom. Uh, Kyle, could you write down twenty-six dollars and something change for Tom's guest? You have a pen there. Uh, I don't have paper. That's my only issue. Mmm, boy, we didn't plan that out too good. I got the whoppers in. Anyways, Tom, Tom Tomilson, 
uh, believes, and I think when he when he first got when he got disconnected, um, he was mentioning that he saw Staples. Can we go back to that to that first one there, Tom? I mean, Tom, <laughs> Kyle, he saw Staples, and I don't know any other uh, restaurant that staples their bags like that, uh, except like a Chinese Mandarin kind of restaurant. You know what I'm saying, Kyle? You know? I absolutely agree. Yeah, so I am, I'm not saying he's right or wrong, but I think that's a pretty good guess. And, uh, oh, uh-oh, Englishy? Hi, Englishy, how are you there? Oh, Mr. G, Hi. this is Englishy, you cheeky little devil. Oh, come on, Where come have on. you been hiding all these weeks, you silver fox, you? Mm. Oh, Englishy would like to play What's in the Bag 2.0. Mm. Well, I guess you want us now to guess what's in the bag as well as the price. Oh, this <laughs> is makes Englishy so, so happy. Oh, I'm glad okay, to hear Mr. that. G, I won't waste any more of your time, Thank darling. You. Thank you. Okay. I believe yeah. what's in the bag are three hamburgers from the delicious Five Guys here down mm. in the Queen City. Oh. Mm. Oh, Mr. G, and yes. I think, oh, they're very expensive over there at yeah, they Six are. Guys. They are. I would have to say, ooh, Forty-two dollars and seventy-two cents, and Mr. G, I yes. would definitely pay that if you would kindly take me someday to maybe a cinema, or mm. maybe we could just go watch to submarine races, if you know what I mean, Mr. G. Oh, this is. Oh, I better go. <laughs> oh, I hear somebody coming up the stairs, Mr. G. Okay, yeah. Mr. G. Yeah. Oh, I love the midnight pop culture Thank show. Thank you. Thank oh, you. I'll talk to you later. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> she called in a couple weeks ago, didn't she, Kyle? Wow, Mr. G. This we gotta start uh, checking your calls. Yeah. Uh, wow. I can't say I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't mind that English. She's I, was she asking me out or something or. Apparently, you have a movie date. Wow. Uh, okay, so theaters are shut down right let, now. let's. I don't know how that that might be for, as a blessing in disguise. I don't know. Uh, I don't think. Is? I don't think my wife is going to be too happy if I meet Englishy someday. But I appreciate your call, Englishy. And she said there were Five Guys Burgers in there. Um, five Guys Burgers, not a bad guess. And boy, Five Guys are expensive. She said about fifty bucks for that. Um, oh my gosh, um, Agnes. Long time listener, how are you, dear? Do you have a you yes, want to play what's in the bag? Yes, ah. she's about that singing throat. With Gilda Hart. And Mr. G, yes. we're a little concerned about uh, Englishy taking up all the time on the show, mm -hmm. and we didn't even think we were gonna get it in time to you, Mr. Oh, G. We would well, always let you on, and, and it sounds like she's uh, hitting on you all the time, oh. and uh, we in the community are a little concerned about that, Mr. G. Oh. Uh, there's got to be some scruples and morals on the midnight. I agree. Show. I agree. It's not a dating show. That's why we tune in. So anyways, Mr. G, yep. um, we believe what's in the bag are uh, two um, uh, dinners from the good people at Schmarket Basket, uh -huh. the pre-made meals that we know you love, and we also think that there is a... Uh, a chicken, a roasted chicken that they're really famous for. Oh, they are good. And uh, we think the total total cost on uh, 2.0, uh, what's in the bag, was, by the way, Mr. G, I think it's a fantastic idea mm -hmm. trying to name the price. So uh, I believe this total price for the two dinners and the roasted chicken <laughs> will be $32.73. Huh? And you know something, Mr. G? Yep. They charge you... A uh, nine or ten percent meal tax mm, mm. for the uh, food that you can take and eat with you. Nine percent. That's ridiculous, Mr. J. Anyways, what? I think I'm just really upset about Englishy, and uh, I'm glad you're back on, Mr. J. And we missed you here. And uh, I hope I win uh, what's in the bag. And it was a pleasure, a pleasure talking to you. And if it seems like I'm talking a little bit too far, because Agnes wants just as much time as this uh, new lady, uh, Englishy. So uh, have a great day, Mr. J. Agnes, let me tell you one thing right now, Agnes. You are near and dear to my heart, okay? You are, I've met you a few times, Agnes. You know that I think you're a fantastic person. Uh, we do have to let um, other callers come in. 
I believe she might have been a little bit too uh, upfront with her intentions, but um, this let's could be the summer of love, Mister. <laughs> okay, um, moving. I'm feeling a little off, uh, famished as the uh, is a good Yiddish word for that. But uh, okay, um, please. Uh, oh, good. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. My man Willie's on the phone. Wasted Willie, is that you? Oh, it is. Oh, Hi, Wasted. This is Wasted Willie, man. How you doing? Mr. G. Yes. I got to tell you, because yeah. of you, man, I turned my life around. Excellent. We started talking about a year and a half ago, man. Mm -hmm. And now I'm out from living in my mother's basement. Excellent. To, oh, man, I've got my own apartment now. Good. I'm a dietitian. Ooh. I really? lost 50 pounds, and when I heard that you're going to play what's in the bag, man, I went, whoa, <laughs> maybe I can straighten Mr. G out oh, Willie. on what to eat. All right, man, whatever's in that bag, I'm hoping a you know, nice salad with some yep. romaine, spinach, Mm -hmm. Collards, mm -hmm. kale, mm -hmm. chopped up really nice. Nice. And maybe put a little bit of fancy vinaigrette. Ooh. And you got this mm. at, uh, I'm going to have to say, you got this at Snar Supermarket, man. Mm. And they have really good, good, yeah, good. And you got to stay away from the fried foods, man. I, I, I'm so I hope really. I'm right that you got some salads in yeah. there, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going by Wasted Willie anymore. Oh, good. It's Willie. The dietitian man. And I said, wow, keep your eye on the prize and you can even make it, man. If Wasted Willie now, Willie the dietitian, can pull himself out of, out of the demise yeah. of sitting on the couch. Right. And I think that salad, man, you know, salad yeah. gets a bad rap. Mm. I know it doesn't last long and it's That's kind true. of expensive. But you got to just buy it frequently, man. So I'm saying that salad probably costs about 25 bucks. Mm. And you should get two or three days out of it. Mr. G, it's a bit of pleasure, man. It's a... Willie the Dietitian? I mean, not always. Wow, Willie, see, man. Mm. Uh, Willie the Dietitian, man. Man. All right, man. I hope I'm not making this whole thing up, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Uh, Willie the Dietitian now. Did not see that coming. <laughs> well... You know, he lives up in Vermont, and uh, they're very wholesome up there. Let's jump right into it. All right. The big reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, what's in the bag is... Whoa! It is Chinese food from North Gardens here in lovely Golf Sound, New Hampshire. Come on now. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. In the next slide over... Boom. Okay, so who was right? I forgot. <laughs> uh, who was right on that? So we have Tom Tomlinson, I believe. Tom was 2620. And he said Chinese food. He did say Chinese okay, food. Okay, we're going to stop right there. We got some more stuff we want to get to. Congratulations, Tom Tomlinson, for everybody else calling in on the Midlife Pop Culture Show. We'll be right back with one more quick round of What's in the Bag, Baby? Is a midlife pop culture show for those of us who were born a few years ago. Let's show those millennials huh, all the things we... What an action-packed show it's been. Let's show the new. Let's show... Oh, did we show uh, how much it was on the receipt? We did not. Oh, let's go back to that. How much was it? We do, Tom Tomlinson got it right with 20... With Chinese food. Can you find the one that says revealed? At 2387. Not terrible. Not terrible for what we got. Uh, remind me again what was in the bag. Uh, <laughs> oh, Chinese food for 23 bucks. Not bad. Okay, here's the next one. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Okay, congratulations, Tom. Let's play what's in the bag here. That's what's in the bag. 603-785-0259. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? We have a new caller. Okay, what's who it? is this guy? Um, oh, it says... 
50s DJ guy? Hello? Hey, kids, this is Clarence, the wannabe 50s DJ hey, kids. Clarence. And I'm going to play What's in the Bag. So turn up that thermostat, put down the hemostat, and let's get ready to get <laughs> fat and play What's in the Bag, kids. Mm. Well, Mr. G, it's been a pleasure to be on your show for the first time. We, we and love I, it. We I love guess it. it's in the DJ, DJ, DJ mind. What you have in there are seven uh, Whopper Juniors. Ooh. Whopper Juniors. Yes, kids, Whopper Juniors. The hamburger that never grew up. <laughs> Mr. G, I believe I am correct. And it's been a pleasure playing. Hey, uh, what's in the bag? Wow, wow that, Kyle, that guy's hyped. Woo. Did he say? What did he say? He thinks he thinks he thinks it's four hundred. What did he say? It was what four Whopper Juniors? The Whopper six of them. I six Whopper that. Juniors. The Whopper that never grew up. Or what did he say? The hamburger that never grew up. Wow. Wow, uh, we're running out of time. We got one more caller. Hello. Do you like to play yeah, what's in the bag? Uh, two large cheese. Hello? Uh, order uh, onion rings. Uh, hello. Um, and, uh, uh, some cheese sticks and uh, 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 and a uh, Greek salad. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. You know. No, okay. No, no, just. Hello. Sir. Uh, great, man. Uh, sir. What? Sir. This isn't uh, Mr. G's uh, Pizzeria? Well, this is Mr. G, but it's not Mr. G's Pizzeria. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, could you maybe go down and down, uh, pick up this stuff for me and the family? I uh, would appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, after know. the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, again, this Thanks, is... Thanks, man. This is the Midlife Pop Culture Show. Uh, Kyle, uh, let's... let's uh, wow. Let's, was... let's fire the screener. He's done. I, I, he's done, uh, and I and you know uh, what was this guy, what was that guy's name? I didn't even know if that's his name. Even say. That's his address, and I you know the kind guy that Mr. G is. I would go down to uh, what's the name of that pizza place down here on Elm? Uh, Cesario's. Yeah, closed. Close. Right now. Yeah, it's it's a rough time. Uh, I hope everybody's staying happy. What's in the bag, ladies and gentlemen? Kyle, you guess what's in the bag since we only have one. One guess, and what was that first guess? Uh, boy, I should stop paying six attention Junior to what I'm saying. Or something like that? No, what was? Oh, right, six Whopper Juniors, right from DJ Clarence. And what do you think was in that plastic bag? I'm, I'm gonna go with a salad. Okay, let's take a look. What's in the bag? Ooh, a teaser. Okay, now you can see now, Kylie. There's not a salad, and you gotta take a guess. Well, the shape of that box, I'm going to go with a grinders or a sub. Mm, and you are correct. Let's take a look. Bang. Oh, again, back to Hot Stone Pizza. This look is, at that. It's like a salad in the Oh, sandwich. my God. Let me, Hot Stone Pizza is It's about five seconds from my house. Let's say five seconds from my house. It's about uh, five, uh, not even two minutes I can drive there. And the consistency. Oh, you know what that is? That. Baklava? Yes. Yes, baklava. They wanted four bucks a piece, but let me tell you, worth authentic. 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 Look at that. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps up another fun filled, exciting episode of the Midlife Pop Culture Show. And remember, have mindful thoughts. Live in the present. Don't try to spiral out of control. Of something that you you can plan, but you gotta just kind of chill out at the same time and enjoy yourself. It's it's hard to do, I know, in this crazy world. But on uh, on behalf of uh, the great producer here, Kyle, Kyle, you're a great man. Thanks for playing along today. Thanks the people here at you. the people here at Manchester Television. I always get that wrong. Manchester Television. Manchester Public Television. Manchester Public Television. Television. My beautiful family. My wonderful wife. In my stomach, that seems to be growing at an alarming rate. This is the Midlife Pop Culture Show. We'll talk to you next time. Have fun. Good to see you.